Good evening and welcome back. So today is the second leg against Atlanta. We won 3-0 in the first leg in the Europa League. A few changes again into the lineup. So we've got Martinelli, Ruben Castro and Carlos Perez up top, our preferred top three. We've got Herrera, Cousins and Mariba coming back in. And we've got Teixeira, Ogbonna, Balbuena and McDowell, which is our second string defensive lineup. But if you look, they're all on very good form. So that's great. And Schubert's back in goal. And this will be to get through to the quarterfinals, I believe. So our first stint in Europe is going very, very well. And we're also still in the Copa del Rey, which is brilliant. And away to, away to Atlanta today, so this potentially may be a stadium we haven't been to, although obviously it's probably not Atlanta's wheel um, stadium. So it may be just one of the generic ones that uh, you know a few of the other clubs use. It does actually look fairly... Um, Similar to another one I've seen a couple of times, so it might be that. But anyway, let's jump in. And uh, yeah, the last match we played in the league was 2 0, and it was a little bit disappointing. It was a bit of a strange game. Ooh. Oh, well, I thought we were 1 0 down already there. What a beautiful ball that was, and it? actually a very nice strike. Um, I'd say he's a bit unlucky there. Oof. Well, Atalanta did not do any of this in the first leg. But yeah, the last match in the league was a little bit odd. 2-0, uh, Mudrik got a double. And um, fairly early on, I think it was about 15, 16 minutes, we were 2-0 up. And then it just all went weird. It just couldn't put a pass together. It was a bit odd. Uh, but three points again. Well clear in the league now. Oh, that's a terrible pass. Hey, Atlanta really putting pressure on us early on. What's going on here? Suddenly turning to uh, wheel beaters. Right, so wear the white on the uh, the map. I don't know why the colours are like that. Could change it. I might do actually. But here's Martinelli. Martinelli. Oh, it's a post as well. Wow. Should have scored there. Uh, I mean, Martinelli, nine times out of ten, nine and a half times out of ten, is going to put that away. Here's Herrera. Mariba. Oh, what a strike. I think it was a good few feet wide in the end, but um, absolutely laced it. I almost dropped Herrera, actually, because he wasn't the only one, but he got a 4.5 in the last match. I didn't think he was that bad, but... Didn't have a great game. He got a yellow card. I think Emerson got a 4.5 as well. Um, it's very unlike us. And we're still one. So. That's a foul. But uh, play on. It's Castro. Martinelli. Castro again. Nice ball through to Mariba. And it's 1-0. How did he manage to get through there? Brilliant finish. Nice little play. Martinelli into Castro. Beautiful ball to Mariba. First touch is what did it. He nearly got taken out. Slots it away. Four players to get it through. And the pass is absolutely perfect. A nice goal to start with, but being frenetic, um, they've hit the post, had a chance hit over, and then been closing us down. And then we've hit the post. Here's Castro, though. Oh, good save! Nearly again got taken out by the defender. He did nudge me, put me off my stride, and still got the shot away. But I think that's pretty much what um, stopped us scoring there. Herrera Mariba it's blocked it's always blocked <laughs> here's Mariba again take Shara Martinelli Castro 
Oh, should have been two. Really should have been two. And that's Martinelli and Castro both missing golden opportunities. And they are, you know, without doubt, our two best finishers. Um, very different ways. Nice tackle by Teixeira and keeping it in, but loses it there. Got a little bit lucky. Carlos Perez, can he get there? No, don't know how, he's very quick. Good block there from our bonnet. It was just patient, didn't go diving in. And uh, punch there. Can we get the ball? How are we not tackling this guy? How is that a corner? <laughs> and if you look there, just quickly, the possession was uh, brought up and they've got the better of the possession marginally. Um, but I'm not surprised by that. After this uh, opening 30 minutes. That'll be another corner. We are 1-0 up and we've had chances ourselves, but um, by no means are we on top of this game. Nice clearance there. Now Ruben Castle just needs a bit of support. Oh, and he's got it. And he's got more than that. There's Martinelli here. Just runs out of uh, space, really. Perez. Herrera. Namariba. Dell. Don't want to overplay it too much. Here's Herrera. Oh, nah. So just me moving the microphone if you can hear that a little bit. Um, that's, a, that's a very poor ball by Perez. What is that noise? I don't know if you can hear it on the microphone. That's a car outside. Someone's just revving their engine up. <laughs> yeah, I don't have much soundproofing in this, uh, this room. God, it's getting louder. Sorry about that. Here's Perez. Just some idiot outside, just, just revving their engine up for the sake of it, and it's like half ten at night. Anyway, what a strange half this has been. Like, entertaining. And Cousin's breaking forward here. He's not the paciest of uh, players. Oh, lovely ball. Oh, and again, just a slight heavy touch. And the keeper reacted well, to be fair. That was good uh, save. And somehow it's just 1-0 to ourselves at half-time. And as you can see from stats, I mean, we had the majority of the possession, apparently. But that was pretty close. They had two shots off target. And we had seven with three on. Yeah, just a, a strange half, and I would say Atlanta would probably feel... Atlanta, sorry, keep saying Atlanta. Atlanta would probably feel a little bit hard done by to be behind um, in that game so far. Here's Martinelli. Nice play to Ruben Castro. Perez. Not much space to work with here, though. Cousins. It's a foul. Yep. Actually got a free kick going away this time. And this is chance for Cousins here. Oh, just hit the top of the head. Martinelli now.
Oh, what are you doing, Man Mariba? What are you standing in, literally in the way of Martinelli when he's dribbling through? Absolute idiot. Martinelli. Oh, right. What is he doing? What an idiot. Literally dribbled around like three players looking to get a shot away, and Mariba's just. Ay, ay, ay. It's a nice head of that. Oh, Martinelli's in. He's not offside, and he's not. Martinelli, beautiful finish, and that's more like it. It's headed forward by Ogbonna, and Kasha just toe pokes it forward, really. And look at that side for a finish with power. Yeah, nice little ball. Just round the corner. Let Martinelli go. Beautiful. I love that camera angle as well. For the replays. Could be in again here. That's not how I was passing to. Why does it do that? I was literally pointing at Mariba when I passed there. He was just completely open. Good block. Defender was a bit shocking there. To be honest. Oh, nice ball on the corner to Martinelli. Oh, good tackle. Very good tackle. Whoop. That'll be a corner. We'll make some subs now. And we're going to bring on Jixi for Ruben Castro. Harrington on the right for a change for Carlos Perez. And Mariba's going to come off for Arcas. I'm not sure how many matches Arcas will get, you know, left to play. Um, if I can even say words in a particular order, that makes sense. Um, but we we have sold him. He'll be leaving in the summer once the transfer window opens. So you'll probably still get a, a few more games, probably mostly off the bench. But oh, Martinelli now just waiting for Xerxes, and he's there. Xerxes, oh, try to chip him. Oh, and then got taken out by the goalkeeper there, mind. Try to be a little bit cute there. Maybe should have just blasted it or passed it to Martinelli. Could not generate any power on that. Anyway, can we get another attack on? 20 minutes left now. Let's play to Arcas. Does well, and it's Xerxes. <laughs> that would have been a strange goal. Um, Xerxes should have scored there. He had a bit of a, a weird hesitation for a second. Xerxes again. Oh, let's fly. Good strike. Straight at the keeper, but um, that was rising. Okay, that's not exactly where I was going to, supposed to be playing it, but here's Herrera. Sexy Herrera. Oh, just wide. Got to be scoring that. Herrera's normally very uh, consistent from that range. From just outside the box. Doesn't score many, but when he does get forward and, and uh, score, it's normally from that sort of... 18 yards to 25 yard range. Decent punch out actually there. Now how can he drive it forward? Here's Arcas. Still Arcas. Straight the goalkeeper. What the hell's going on there? That was almost physically impossible when the defender slid in and blocked it. You, the, just the reaction time is not possible in real life, and that's the thing that annoys me sometimes. And that was very evident in that uh, 
in that situation there. They definitely dialed up the interceptions way too much in this game. Wish there was a way you could just dial that back a little bit. Just a bit too much. Come on, Eddie, now. And Cousins, he's a bit out on his legs at the moment. Xerxy, Arcas, lovely play. Xerxy, how did he miss that? How did he miss? Xerxy still, and hits the post and goes to the keeper. What is going on in this game? It's been a, such a strange but fun game. Um, and in the first half, Atlanta were very unlucky not to have scored at least one goal. Um, and we've I think that's about four times the woodwork's been hit by for both teams. Um, oh, nice play. Oh, good strike. Difficult angle, though. Arcas. Good play by Martinelli. Arcas again. Zixi. No, and that'll be it. Wow, what a fun game, but somehow only 2-0. And just looking at the stats there, yes, we had the majority of the possession. We didn't for about the first 30, 35 minutes. They had the majority. They had three shots with one on target, but I don't think that really tells the whole story. They they were dominant in the first 30 minutes and somehow we got that lead. 20 shots from ourselves, only 11 on target. And man of the match, Mariba. I wouldn't actually disagree with that. He was very, very good, apart from that time I got annoyed with him and he got in the way. But I thought Martinelli and Ruben Castro were very good. Carlos Perez was a little bit quiet. Very solid performance all round. So the next match is away to Espanyol in the league. And I've got that massive semi-final against Atletico Madrid. I think the other semi-final is Real Betis versus Real Madrid. You would think it's going to be Real Madrid that will play. But we'll have to wait and see. Thank you very much for joining. Hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. And subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. See you all next time. Cheers.